If ever there was a perfect place to host a windsurfing competition, then this is it. Playa de Solvento, a five-kilometer stretch of beach on the Canary Island of Fruitaventura, is the kind of idyllic location water sport addicts think about from sunrise to sunset. The wind is relentless here. Not so great for holiday makers, perhaps, but heaven for those whose luggage is always of the oversized variety. Slalom and kite surfing events got their day in the sun in the latest stage of the 2008 World Cup, but as usual, it was the freestyle discipline that the crowds were really waiting for. The action truly came to a head on the final day. In the men's draw, a fascinating battle had been brewing all week long between reigning world champion Marcillo Brown and Venezuelan wonder kid Jose Estrado, who is aiming to make it three wins from three this season. In the crucial final stage, both men did their stuff for the allocated six minutes. Brown, or Brazino as he's known, started strongly, but 2006 champ Estrado then showed just why he had dominated the first two rounds in Austria and Lanzarote. In the end though, it was Brown who was awarded the win, the 19-year-old capturing his first title of the season. Trophy, champagne, flowers and a 6,000 euro prize to boot, his reward for a testing few days. Back to the action now and in the women's game, it was a fairy tale ending for Aruba's finest, Surakita Afringa. With a 100% record under her belt heading into the tournament, Afringa knew one more victory would secure her the 2008 championship and event early. And like a true champion elect, she did just that. The favourite living up to her billing with a near flawless display of control windsurfing. A proud moment for her at the award ceremony a little later. The first PWA title of her short career done and dusted. Meanwhile, it was another solid outing for up and coming Russian starlet Olga Raskina. Despite taking to the Fruitaventura waters for the first time, the Moscovite showed great resolve to recover from a slow start and then the very respectable eighth in the ultra-competitive ladies' draw. I'm very happy because I haven't been sailing for a long time, only three years, and that I get straight in top ten. That was actually my aim. I was really hoping that I could be top ten and I uh, succeeded. <laughs> Her compatriot, Yegor Popertinsky, is currently the golden boy of Russian windsurfing and he did his reputation no harm at all this time out with an 11th placed finish. So the penultimate stage of the Freestyle World Championships has come to a close and again it's the usual suspects from across the Atlantic that are sitting pretty on top of the leaderboard. As for me, I didn't quite make it out to sea. I think I'll leave all the water, wind and waves to the professionals. Unin O'Neill. RT 